What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, look, we got big news out of uh, the Kissimmee St. Cloud area regarding this dude right here. Everybody uh, knows who he is, Stephen Stearns. And in relation to the disappearance of 13 year old Madeline Soto. Now, a trial date has been set already. I mean, this thing is still hot in the news and on social media. They didn't set a trial date already. Take a look at this video. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now, they're not playing with this dude. They're going to do whatever they can to keep him behind bars and start this thing going. Check it out has been set for the prime suspect in the death and disappearance of a 13-year-old girl. Madeline Soto was found dead in a wooded area in St. Cloud. Stephen Stearns has not been charged in her death, but will stand trial in May for dozens of child sex charges. Channel 9's Daryl Matthews has covered every development in this story. And Daryl, Stearns is due back in court next month. Yeah, Martha, April 2nd, to be exact, will be his arraignment date, April 24th, pre-trial, and the trial, May 13th. And now, the state attorney's office tells me that those are set arraignment dates unless they're waived. And in this case, Stearns did waive that date, and those were the next court dates picked by the court system. He's sitting in the jail cell right now. And if convicted of child sex crimes he's accused of, Stephen Stearns could spend the rest of his life in prison regardless of what happens in the investigation into the death of 13-year-old Madeline Soto. I don't think this case is going to go, and if the murder charges are added, uh, you're going to be a year and a half, two years away before this case comes to trial. Stephen Stearns, the prime suspect in the disappearance of Madeline Soto, is the boyfriend of Soto's mother. He was the last person seen with a 13-year-old. In May, he'll stand trial not for her disappearance, but rather dozens of sex crimes. If the defense is not ready for trial, which I don't think they will be uh, at that trial date, they're going to move to continue to give them more time to examine the evidence. So far, investigators have examined enough for the state's attorney's office to charge Stearns with 60 counts of sexual battery on a child under 12 and lewd or lascivious molestation. Stearns has not been charged in Maddie's death as law enforcement continues to investigate and has yet to charge anyone. They're waiting for all of the evidence to come in so they can carefully look at it, analyze it, and make an informed decision as to the murder charge. Now, former Chief Judge Belvin Perry presided over the Casey Anthony case. He says right now he's commending law enforcement for taking their time to go through evidence and DNA to find out how Maddie died, taking out anyone who's not involved in her murder and holding the person responsible without making any mistakes. We're live in Orlando. Daryl Matthews, Channel 9, Eyewitness. Guys, uh, that's the news. Good news at that. They're going to get ready to put this dude away for life. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I ain't going to hold you. It made me sick to my stomach seeing her hugging on that dude. He ain't had no tears or nothing. It even looked fake. Go back and look at it. It looked fake the way she was consoling him. It was like she didn't know what to do. And then he just was like just going along with it. You can tell they don't physically interact like that in like, you know, a public display of affection towards each other. You can see it. A lot of times body language tell you that they look awkward doing that. And that's one of the reasons why I think it has something to give uh, with the giveaway of him looking suspicious besides the other stupid antics he was doing. These people out there in Kissimmee or St. Cloud, where Kissimmee, St. Cloud is close to the same, you know, I guess it's two towns or whatever. They're not playing. They're not. Look, stuff just happened. April 2nd, arraignment hearing. April 24th, pre-trial. That's jewelry selection right there. April and May 13th trial begins. Just like the guy said, yeah, they're trying to push it back. But once the process gets started, they got to They got to You can't unstop it. They already gave a trial date moving expediently. They're going to make sure this guy never go nowhere. Now, we spoke yesterday. I did a video yesterday. I did a video today. I was talking about, hey, you know, he'll never get out. People are saying that, like, yo, he's not going to get out. This is a bad stain, you know, on a city Well, with their name attached to it because he was from there and it happened in that area. They're trying to get rid of this. They're trying to get rid of this. 
You know what I'm saying? It should never happen here in Florida or anybody anywhere else. But um, this thing, this whole thing, they moving really quick. I mean, you got to admit, they moving fast with this. They'll move it back, most likely. Like the, like the guy said, you know, they're going to say, hey, we need more time. We need more time. The more time they take, they're still investigating the other stuff because they got him dead to rights with this, this, these uh, 70 counts of the stuff on his phone. So he's only going to court for that. He's not going to court for said, you know, whatever happened to her. Remember the autopsy report and all that stuff got to be come back. The findings, forensic findings and all of that. It may take time. We looked at other court cases I've done. They took months to get back. This one might not be no different, even though like she was freshly, you know, she wasn't dead that long. But. There it is right there. The longer the time they take, more time it is for them to uh, convict him. With a uh, murder charge, they have to. I applaud them. I do. Now, I wish they would do this with a lot of other cases that are out here. Get them in and get them out. This case right here, you know, as sickening as it is, and whether, you know, you blame other people and say other people are involved in it, because I don't even want to mention the mother right now. I don't. It's about him right now. It is. And I believe she's guilty of something. But this guy, they're not playing with, and they're going to push for justice swiftly and get him behind that. You know, he's already in jail. They're trying to get him in that penal system fast. Mm-hmm. Yep. But, uh, yeah, that news just broke. And you'll hear some more stuff coming out after. But for what he did, like I said in the other video, they had different people saying different things and all of this stuff. And what the motive was. Honestly, guys, we may never even know. Because he's already in jail. They might convict him of this. Because they said the other trial, you know, they go to, uh, you know, deal with him by her disappearance and what happened to her. That's going to be another year and a half, two years away. So for what they got, they'll just ride with that. Sentence this guy, whatever he gets sentenced to, you know, it's going to be life behind bars. So, I mean, it's kind of exciting, but it's not. Because he's going away for a long time. Or, depending on what they say, he could be pushed with the death penalty. Which I'm hoping he get because this guy's lower than low. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like I said before, no matter what this guy goes through or what he's sentenced to, is in no way, shape, or form equal to the pain and misery he calls this young girl who tragically lost her life, Madeline Soto. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.